creating a custom banner for your Brightspace course, a Brightspace tip from the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. To create a custom banner for your Brightspace course, we have provided you with a template. Um, you're going to go ahead and select the template from the website or from the set of directions that we have available for all AACPS employees. And you're going to click that and then you're going to hit the Use Template button in the upper right hand corner. This will then give you your own copy of this that you are going to be able to uh, manipulate and save and design the way that you want your course banner to look like. You'll see when you open this that it is a large blue rectangle. Directions are across the top. You're going to want to make sure that you delete those directions before you do the final save. So I'm just going to click on that box up here and I'm going to delete them. Now this box has been saved according to Brightspace's recommendations for the size file to upload into the banner. But please keep in mind that this is actually larger than what we'll show in that banner space on the website. Um, what students will see really depends on if they're looking at this banner on the website versus the Pulse app on a Chromebook versus a desktop. So this is the uh, preferred size that Brightspace recommends so that the image will work well regardless of the device or the application that the students are viewing this from. So you're going to go ahead and come in here. You can add whatever you like to this rectangle. I'm just going to grab a Bitmoji and drop this in here. Uh, feel free to change the background color. You do that by right clicking on the space and choosing the background color that you wish. We do recommend that you do not put text on the banner because remember the title of your course uh, or the uh, whatever uh, text you have on that will actually run across this. Once you have it designed the way that you want, you're going to go ahead and hit File, select Download, and you're going to select a ping image. That is then going to download, uh, save that somewhere on your computer where it's going to be easy for you to find. Then navigate back to your course in Brightspace. You're going to mouse over the banner and select the three dots in the upper right hand corner. From here you're going to select Change Image. Here, because I'm using my custom image, I'm going to select Upload in the upper right hand corner. I'm then going to select my computer, select Upload, and I'm going to find that header that I created. It's going to come in here and I select Add. And it will automatically go into that space for me across the top of my page. Again, this just makes it easier for my students to find this uh, when they are looking at their course widgets page. And again, just customizes it and makes it a little bit more fun.